Hello viewers, it's Regal Sum Ahmed. Today I'm here with the topic Calculate Consumer and Producer sur Surplus. So let's see what is consumer and producer surplus. Now what is consumer surplus? Consumer surplus means you have to go for shopping. You have a mindset that I'm going to buy the product of this estimated price. So uh, for example, you want to buy a wristwatch and you have a, a, a mindset that I'll be buying this wristwatch in this amount. So the amount that is there in your mind and when you will go to the market but you were able to buy on a less lesser price so the difference between the expected price and the price actually paid would be the consumer surplus difference between the maximum price a buyer is willing and able to pay for a good and service and the price actually paid so this difference is known as consumer surplus um, look at this uh, diagram here we have quantities on the uh, x-axis and the prices on the y-axis and forces of demand and supply are letting us buy the product at five dollar but actually we had an expectation that we are going to buy the uh, item of seven dollars but when we go to the market we had a, a bargaining and we were able to buy at five dollar so the difference uh, of seven minus five will be two now how to calculate the total uh, consumer surplus of uh, a person uh, we are having a formula that is one upon two uh, base into height so total base over here if you look uh, down here will be from zero to hundred so hundred will be the total base and 7 minus 5 means 2 so 2 will be the height so 100 into 2 will be 200 and when we are going to take the half of it we will get 100 so 100 is the consumer surplus in this diagram now producer surplus whenever producer wants to sell any product he has an expected uh, price in his mind that I'm going to sell at least at this price but when a buyer comes to the shop he is able to sell on a higher price than what he had in his mind so the difference between price received and minimum selling price will be the producer surplus so the difference between the price sellers received for a good and the minimum or the lowest price for which they would have sold the good so this will be the producer surplus now look at this diagram here again uh, we have demand supply and uh, we are having uh, equilibrium at 100 and the price is 5 now look at the window uh, diagram in window diagram you can see that we had in our mind that I am going to sell this product of $3 but actually was able to sell at $5 so 5 minus 3 will be 2 so 2 is the difference that we are having and the total base as we already know that is 100 so uh, put all this stuff into the data you can see uh, 1 upon 2 base into height so base is 100 and height is 2 5 minus 3 will be 2 and 100 into 2 will be 200 and we'll take the half of it and we will get 100 so producer surplus is 100 here now this is a comparative uh, diagram you can see the consumer surplus is below demand line and producer surplus is below the uh, supply line so con uh, producer is concerned with supply and consumer is concerned with demand now total surplus is consumer surplus plus producer surplus so consumer surplus is here 100 and producer surplus is again 100 as we have calculated before so total surplus is going to be 200 and here you can see that we have quantities that was uh, on a part uh, we have consumer surplus uh, the quantity was 25 then we moved forward uh, like we were able to get the price lower than that so it will go to a plus b then it will go to a plus b plus c and by the end of time it is a plus b plus c that is the total base area and that here we have 100 so we have already calculated that our consumer surplus is 100 then go to producer surplus it was at e um, then it moved to e plus f then moved on to e f g then e f g h so uh, the total surplus over here is 100 so 100 is with consumer surplus and 100 is with producer surplus so this was all about my today's video if you like my video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you